The ketogenic diet is well known for being beneficial in many circumstances, ranging from weight loss, diabetes to certain cancers and beyond. However, there is some scrutiny of the diet when looking at the measure of heart health. So in this content, we'll be looking at an involved study that attempts to look at how the ketogenic diet affects heart health. Let's get into it. Learn your body, a science-based education. This study, along with my notes and any follow-up minor amendments, are linked to this content for you. Now, a very low-carb, high-fat diet known as a ketogenic diet typically leads to an increase in blood concentration of ketones, which are molecules produced by the liver that can be used for energy by the cells of the body. Interestingly, there have been mixed results regarding how the ketogenic diet affects the heart, and if it is tied to this increase in these particular ketones. So the researchers of the study used a mixed study design, meaning part of the study was done in animals to assess the mechanisms, and another part of the study using human patients. This piece of data is heart tissue that's been taken from animals that have been fed one of three diets. One, their normal diet, two, a ketogenic diet, and three, a normal diet but calorie restricted. Then the researchers stain the heart tissue with dyes to look at the structure of the cellular network, making up the structure of the heart. Where you see blue, this is an indication of fibrotic tissue, meaning collagen has been deposited there. If the heart is more fibrotic, containing more collagen, it is less able to fulfill its function of pumping blood, because the structure is more rigid. So we can see that the animals fed the ketogenic diet, but neither of the two other diets experienced an increase in fibrosis of the heart. To get a few more answers, the researchers decided to use a different group of animals and either inject them with the ketone acetoacetate or the ketone beta-hydroxybutyrate and remeasure the amount of collagen deposition in the heart, the amount of fibrosis. Only the injection of beta-hydroxybutyrate led to an increase in fibrosis. So up to now, the researchers have some evidence that the ketogenic diet may increase fibrosis in the heart, and the mechanism is likely mediated by the elevations in the ketone beta-hydroxybutyrate. Next, the researchers wanted to know what happens to the cells directly when they get exposed to the ketone of interest, beta-hydroxybutyrate. So they exposed human heart cells, as well as animal heart cells and non-heart cells to a control, meaning a pretend substance that has no effect, or a drug that causes cell death, or to beta-hydroxybutyrate, and compared the amount of heart cell death. Cell death was higher in the drug and ketone conditions. To confirm this, they measured the amount of a particular molecule that is responsible for initiating cell death, and found that its cleaved version, synonymous with its activated version, was elevated in both heart cell types tested with the cell death drug and the ketone again. This confirmed the previous data. Briefly, going over the human data, the researchers took heart samples from patients undergoing heart transplant due to a fibrotic heart and measured the amount of beta-hydroxybutyrate present. They found that the ketone was elevated compared to non-fibrotic hearts also sampled. So keep in mind that this is associative and not cause and effect data, especially since the patients were not necessarily on a ketogenic diet. So what does this all mean? Well, it means that the ketogenic diet has some evidence to be detrimental to heart cells, causing them to die and to form the generation of collagen where the heart muscle cells would be located, creating, well, a fibrotic heart. There is an association with human patients suffering from a fibrotic, non-functioning heart and the elevation in the specific ketone that is generated from the ketogenic diet. This study alone does not prove the ketogenic diet is harmful to the heart, but it does open the door for questions therein. I hope this proved informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.